we started our company in 2011, um, and I'm very blessed. I wouldn't be a beekeeper without my husband. Um, I'm tired of working corporate, so this is what I do full time now. We bought a farm in Missouri, a state we no longer lived in, and we started with 200 hives, um, which is a lot. It's kind of more on my own terms, so it's nice. And as bizarre as it sounds, it's actually very relaxing. Um, small scale, I will say. Hobby level, much more relaxing than commercial. I will say in Arizona, we are very deregulated um, when it comes to beekeeping, which is good and bad. It's good for me because it allows me to do virtually what I want. Uh, although, you know, I try to be a good neighbor, good beekeeper. In an urban setting, if you're gonna have bees, you really, in my opinion, need to truly manage them versus be watching, beekeeping versus be watching. Very different games um, because uh, the killer bees, the Africanized ones, are no joke. I mean, they are significant. Um, and, and I do know people that keep them on purpose because they produce really good honey and, and no other honey bee colony is going to rob them out because honey bees actually steal each other's honey if they can. <laughs> um, so they're like, no, they're big and strong. Yes, but on the liability side of things, God forbid they hurt somebody. You know, it, it's, it's not insignificant. Um, and every year it happens, um, unfortunately, and that's just the reality of where we live. Um, every southern state has those genetics, so um, at a minimum, I feel like we should regulate that. Um, I, I, I tend to appreciate less regulation than more, but some framework it is not a bad idea.